Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, we'll discuss what is quadratic probing. Gone through the previous videos in this playlist. Uh, we were discussing about collision resolution. Um, so I'll try to explain this. Uh, I'll try to explain that in short. So in a hash table, when we want to, so when we have a hash function and we try to input a data, input input data, uh, which, which we call key, returns an index, it returns an index, and we place that data in that, in that, particular index okay now what happens is for two inputs let's say now let's say for two or more inputs it returns us the same index that leads to collision okay now to resolve that there are there are very many methods uh, one of them is quadratic probing so it looks something like this okay so here h dash here h dash x is a standard hash function here h dash x is a standard hash function okay we discussed in our previous video it can be multiplicative or um, division all right and uh, c1 and c1 and c2 are constants and i is a and i is a probe probe number okay so what is probe number um, we'll pass in we'll pass an input k for zeroth attempt it will return an index and let's say this index leads to collision so we'll try for the first attempt it will again return an index and let's say we already have the data there so again it will lead to a collision okay so it will again uh, so we'll try with probe so we'll try with second probe and then it will again return an index so let's say so let's say this time the this index was empty so we could place the place the data in in that particular index so um, which will which will resolve the collision all right so that's how quadratic probing works where uh, we have a standard hash function and with that we have and two other terms followed by mod m and m is the number of indices available in the hash table so from 0 1 2 3 it goes on up to m minus 1